Is it true that ancient robots were found in caves in Crete and that the Secret Service covered it up? We should not be surprised. We know that they even had an analog computer, the Antikythera mechanism. They even had a little uh, statue of a woman that was, would be pouring wine and water into a cup that was a robotic uh, statue. Several years ago, in 1996, on Sunday, May 12th, an article appeared in the famous Sunday Afternoon magazine under the title, The Hunters of the Mummies of Minas, King Minas. What do the southern coasts of Crete and von Daniken's sudden interest hide? The article signed by Dimitri Korkiris refers to a visit by von Daniken to Crete, focusing on the village of Tsutsuros, in which incredible descriptions are made. There's also UFO uh, sightings over the uh, mountains of Tsutsuros of Crete. He says, uh, the writer says, since I've scanned the article but cannot send it in an image form, I'm copying it. Weird stuff and incomprehensible. Extremely difficult for common sense to approach. They are more like a well-crafted science fiction script. No one's able to unravel the facts through a complex tra tangle of narratives, rumors, and fictions where questions of metaphysics are also involved. So an attempt to dive into a murky story which has been circulating by word of mouth in recent years, but has never officially come out. The south coast of Crete, in the Aegean Sea of Greece, somewhere near the small village of Tutsuros, at a distance of about 80 kilometers from the city of Heraklion, Crete, in an, where the uh, Knossos Palace of King Minos is, in an area where there are some big mountains. When the midday sun begins to descend and one looks from a narrow angle, one can make out unusual shapes in the mountains, lion heads, human figures, and pyramidal depictions. King Minos and the Pharaoh, beneath these bowels of the earth lies a labyrinth world, a labyrinthine world. Somewhere in its center is the great tomb of the mythical King Minos. Next to him, there are embalmed other kings of that period corresponding to the pharaonic pyramids of Egypt. At the entrance is a huge arbor made of gold. The bunches of grapes hanging from there are also made of gold. Golden birds with many diamonds have been crafted all around. However, the story does not end here. After all, legends are not subject to limitation. In the bowels of this very earth lie buried the greatest secrets of humanity, specimens of a superior civilization that exist in the depths of the centuries, Inscriptions and types of linear writing are numerous, so are the, rep the representations. There is even talk of the existence of spaceships of time. Whoever succeeded in interpreting the scriptures will become, the scriptures of these um, hieroglyphs will uh, become the professor of seven sealed secrets, starting from the ultimate war machine and the possibilities of brain functions that, and reaching up to the elixir of life and the interplanetary civilization. Naturally, those who receive all these narratives, their first reaction is the ironic sneer. There are, of course, some more prone to this kind of reporting who show interest. And this is because the specific area of Crete has always yielded important archaeological findings and is under the continuous research of the com competent scientists and direct supervision of the Ministry of Culture of Greece. But suddenly, the famous researcher, patriarch of theory of extraterrestrial visits, Eric von Daniken, showed interest in this crazy story. And recently, he even came to Athens at that time, according to the information, immediately after he traveled to the disputed area of Crete. In an exclusive interview, which he gave to the special magazine Third Eye, von Daniken mentions, among other things, that he, will, he would return to Greece for research together with his colleagues and some of his equipment. But uh, it goes even further and noted the following verbatim. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in Greece and Hellenism in general. Many researchers and people of the spirit all over the world have shown an interest that has created many questions. It's characteristic that this interest is connected to various mysteries which are supposed to exist in the Greek area, 
which are related to ancient technologies, to mythological traditions, and also to the special geodetic position of the place. Let's remember that they used to build their temples and palaces and cities on ley lines because they knew of the uh, free energy of the earth uh, on the nodes of the ley lines. Now, among all these seekers, Von Daniken could not be missing. The information tells us that he intended to visit Crete to investigate some of these secrets, quote-unquote, and there's an area in South Crete where something is supposed to be buried there since ancient times. One of the reasons for Van Daniken's visit to the Big Island is was to investigate the specific location of this secret. It is characteristic, however, that the Israeli Secret Service had also shown interest in this matter and what's happening in South Crete. Let's hope that uh, Von Daniken will want to reveal it to, uh, to us in his book, but I don't know if he did or not. It's clear that the publication photographs the original story mentioned here, but without going into detail. Otherwise, the full source report that there is a certain group of self-taught researchers who claim to have found the passage that can lead to the great tomb of the world ruler, King Minus, of the Minus Touch, not Minus Touch, what am I saying? But anyway, they had gold anyway. For years, that was Midas. Now, for years, this group had addressed important factors in the scientific and political life of the country, but without finding any response, this same group talks about archaeological findings, which when they come to light will be much more important than the Acropolis of Athens. The mayor of Arkalohori, uh, uh, Crete, uh, located near the village of Tutsuros, Mr. Haralan Bozianopoulos says, it's true that a lot is heard. Myths and legends are pleasing to the ears, which is why they spread easily. But beyond and regardless of what is heard, the wider area is of great archaeological interest. As far as I know, there are findings that show connections between the Minoan and the Egyptian civilizations. Findings dating back to over 2,000 years before Christ, that's 4,000 years back. Previously, in a cave in Tutsuros, ancient objects had been found. All this is known to the archaeologists and the Ministry of Culture of Greece. What still remains unknown is whether this whole crazy story of Crete will finally be the trigger to write another fascinating fairy tale by Von Daniken. And this was back in 1996. In the year 2000, Von Daniken's book, In the Name of Zeus, was published in Greece a meaningless book with many errors and where, where the main researchers talk about Minoan Crete but does not write a word about the mysterious village of Tsutsuros and what they found there. Uh, he doesn't write a word about the mysterious village and now we see quite vaguely about secret military bases, experiments, etc. And my friends, like all mysteries, this too has the right doses of ambiguity, hints, rumors, and of course, what is needed to ignite the imagination within us. Some questions that point to further research. One, what exactly is the Ministry of Culture aware of? Two, has there been any scientific announcement since then? Three, what exactly do the residents or local authorities know? Four, does this group that claims to have found the important findings still exist? Five, has anything been written on the subject since then? Six, do the island's politicians know anything about this? And does the Mitsutakis family who comes from Crete, uh, know, uh, known for their love of the island and historic past, do they have any knowledge of the specific area and its mysteries? Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. And this uh, huge robot Talos was supposed to be the guardian of the island of Crete from Crete's enemies, from the Cretan enemies. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I really support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.